Good evening. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. December 28, 2024 is the date, about 10.49 p.m. California time. A 4.6 earthquake there into, well, excuse me, 4.4, 4.2 earthquake. There we go, into the Mariana Islands, one of the latest quakes here. On the flat scale model Earth, pretty deep. Definitely uh, getting some return of deeper activity here across that area. We'll continue to watch a region around the Kumano Ridge, around the Japan region. That's a subduction zone that uh, they're expecting a mega quake to happen on uh, soon. We'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, some deeper activity there into the Tonga Trench. I believe that was from this morning. Uh, just after, uh, well, just before noon here, local time, 5.5. Pretty deep earthquake. Really no new movement following that deeper activity this morning for now go ahead and check out the west coast out here where we had a a number of earthquakes uh, a couple earthquakes down or up into northern california here one of the latest a 3.6 in the hay fork area 3.9 miles deep that is a uh, somewhat of a surface quake here away from the area of interest uh, and of course we've seen a lot of earthquake activity out here in the last 30 days following that seven point a seven-pointer uh, that struck here. Uh, that was a 7.0 to be exact there on the 5th of December. Looks like uh, a total tally here. You know, this is probably a, a very lenient number. It is 496 here. And I say lenient because of the lack of one-pointers that they've uh, handled out here. Uh, for you know, for every five pointer, there should be so many fours. For every uh, three pointer, should be so many twos. You know, and there's hundreds of twos here, and only a handful of ones. So that tells me right there that not all the ones were accounted for. Probably have another hundred or two hundred uh, earthquakes to add on to that total tally, following uh, the seven pointer there in Northern California uh, back on the fifth. So today's earthquake activity, a little bit further inland here, that still is telling me that the strain is out here against this region. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of specific earthquake activity out here, but, you know, again, they're not reporting all of the smaller quakes such as this. That's a little small earthquake there on the Petrolia station. Not showing up on the Dinsmore station, which is somewhat nearby, but it is a earthquake. And, you know, that's what I've been saying here. There's been continuous earthquake activity out here. Nothing being reported in terms of the smaller movement. So continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, kind of an odd earthquake away from this region, but at the surface area here. Uh, quick glance at the trimmer map tonight. Let's see what we have for Cascadia trimmer which is nada, zip zero. Nothing going on there for trimmer down into the subduction zone of the Cascadia. Pacific Northwest, nothing coming in there because it's a weekend. Not because earthquakes don't happen, it's just because they don't report them here. Uh, the microquakes will get reported sometime Monday after review from the USGS. Typical activity here, here in the uh, geothermal field <coughs> of the Clear Lake volcanic field. Put the microphone right here in my face. Voila. Good thing I had a drink uh, nearby. This is the, uh, yeah, a bunch of thermal, uh, geothermal fields out here. There's a number of them, probably a good 15 or 20 of them, that uh, utilizes the heated area below. They inject uh, some material down below to create some dry steam and power homes across the San Francisco Bay Area. So that's always happening. Man-induced uh, earthquake activity there. One earthquake way north of Mount Shasta. Really nothing going on there for now. Bay Area pretty quiet. Uh, a look at Southern California here on the map. The latest looks like a little 1.9 in the southern end of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. Really nothing. Uh, let's see here. 2.7 near the Dana, Dana Point area. That's well off the coast here of Mir of. Uh, Santa Ana, off the coast here, San Diego to the northwest. Pretty shallow earthquake. But aside from that, uh, I guess the only notable activity here is this specific movement on the uh, uh, opposite sides here of the plate boundary. A couple smaller quakes here on the map. Very small earthquakes, but uh, lighten up here a little bit around that segment. But aside from that, western Nevada is still swarming. Nothing going on through Yellowstone for now. 
Um, I still got to double check though, <laughs> even though it's not being a, uh, even though it's not being reported there on the graph. I need to verify that just so I can sleep at night. Nothing going on. Pretty quiet there across the uh, Yellowstone seismograph stations. Uh, Texas oil fields look like they uh, kind of called uh, chilled out a little bit here in terms of uh, elevated movement. A couple of earthquakes out there today in the oil fields. Really nothing big going on aside from severe weather out here. Goodness, we'll get to that here in a minute. New Madrid seismic zone quiet as well. And... Um, Let's see what we got here on the Earthquake 3D Globe. Someone mentioned uh, about including the Canadian data here. And I, I tried that. I went ahead and tried that. And I'll show you guys what happened here. When you include the Canada earthquakes here, say, for example, um, I'll just do 4.5 and above for the Canada area. I'll include that in the globe. And watch what happens here. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong uh, or what, but... The movement I showed here now in, in Canada added onto the map, but those look like recent earthquakes now. A green flag, white circles. But if you look here, that 4.7 is actually from the 7th of December. So I can't have that on the globe because these are not um, recent earthquakes. So I don't know how to get around that. I'll keep messing around with it a little bit. But someone mentioned about including a Canada overlay. Uh, if I could get it to work right, I have no problem uh, utilizing that. But... I can't have earthquakes on the map there from a different agency that's showing that it was, you know, just happening because I try to keep the recent earthquakes here in the white rings, the green flag or the red flag here from the EMSC. Uh, and that's a 4.4 into uh, the Japan area. Looks like, is that going to be this one? 2119? Yes. So I'll mess around with it for a little bit and see if I can uh, get that uh, added on without having the issue at hand. Uh, aside from that, folks, I mean, most of the earthquake activity out here, fairly um, just kind of scattered. Really no elevated movement right now, but watch for this deeper. There's that deeper earthquake here into the, uh, the southern end of the Izu Trench, northern end of the Mariana Trench, I should say. Uh, so we still got a lot of pressure being applied against this area. Uh, Japan area southward into Taiwan. And a little bit of uptick here across the Turkey region with some twos, including a four out there. Ethiopia down there still stirring up in the uh, uh, that Great Rift Valley here. Just had another 4.8 in the last couple hours here. That uh, brings up the total tally for at least the last week, uh, 13 earthquakes. So I uh, got something going on out there. Could see eventually see some type of volcanic activity from that riff, from that rift zone. A quick glance at space weather activity. See if anything's stirring up. Wow, we got a, a long duration M flare right here, and I can see where it's coming from. Very obvious. This sunspot region down here. Also back over across the western limb, there's a, a flare going on. But this one here looks like the long duration event. Looks like there's a little bit of dimming going on here in terms of the clarity of that image. So that means that there's a little bit of CME activity being produced from that sunspot flaring right now. That's going to be 3939. Is that a lucky number or, right, or what? 3939. You guys hear about that uh, Mega Millions winner? Just up the road from me there in Cottonwood. Uh, Cottonwood's just a short drive here from Chico. Uh, won like $1.3 billion. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even know what I would do with that kind of money. I wouldn't even need that kind of money. I just need a quarter of that. And I will be happy. Uh, but one person, one single person won that. Pretty crazy. So 3939 right there, the uh, sunspot that's currently flaring with some M flare activity, long duration event. Uh, somewhat elevated flare threat, 20% chance for X flare, M flare at 70, C flare around 90, 99% chance. No major roars in the, there in the forecast, but I'm sure that is subject to change with this uh, uptick here in space weather activity. Again, this is uh, kind of looking a little active out there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna screenshot that before it disappears. It'll make a great thumbnail here for the uh, for the video. Um, yeah, tornado activity today. I've seen quite a few tornadoes, uh, being, uh, 
shown there on social media. Still a moderate risk here overnight with that uh, tornado activity there. Oh, man, that's just, you know, it was it was pretty much forecasted here and warranted on the high status here because we've seen a number of tornadoes out there. This is just a preliminary report. Um, and technically this is for this is for the uh, 27th. Hold on a second here. There we go. I was like, wait a minute, what did I do? I clicked on the wrong one. I know there's more than that. So 31 tornado reports out there across that area that had a moderate risk for some severe weather today. So I think they did good in calling the dynamics out here. A lot of times this will turn into a bust. Um, but, man, a broad-scale tornado event today with 31 uh, preliminary reports coming into the Space Weather Pre or the uh, Storm Prediction Center. Uh, 74 reports of hail or a wind. Hail report was about nine. Uh, that's a, that's a kind of a big deal for this time of year. So we got that threat uh, overnight. Tomorrow a little bit less here as that sh uh, weather shifts further to the east uh, across this area of the country. A little bit of tornado threat in there as well, but not as much as what we're seeing today. Uh, so goodness, definitely uh, pretty crazy weather out there. Uh, Northern California got a little bit of rain coming in here to my neck of the woods tonight, early tomorrow morning. After that, um, patterns begin to shift out here. And uh, we start seeing a lot of cold, bitter air dipping down from the north all the way to the southern states, it looks like. So this is going to be another severe weather event right around the 7th of January. Got to watch for that. The colder air meeting the warmer dynamics down there, and you get that severe weather brewing up. But we're talking about just plummeting temperatures. Look at that deep, deep jet dipping down even to the Gulf of Mexico. Um, that's some extreme cold there. Uh, the temperature anomaly, anomaly with the GFS model showing, uh, well, as you can see here, departure from normal 20 to 24 degrees below normal here. And it uh, could be even more than that. So, um, you know, it's uh, kind of a big deal. A lot of colder air venturing down from the north here. And I, I, I mean, it's wintertime, I get it. But when that takes place, that normally means that we have high pressure ridging out here across the west. And that is a dominant feature here for the uh, first half of January. I'm hoping that changes there because that is just a brutal high pressure system. And I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind a little switch there from the cold weather. I know a lot of people don't like it, but uh, I, I like the cold and I like the wet weather here. I got my windows open tonight, 58 degrees. Not really uh, all that cool out here right now here in Northern California. So I'm going to leave the windows open and listen to the wind chimes tonight and a little bit of rain. But uh, yeah, um, let's see what we got for total snowfall. This is possibilities here you know this may or may not play out or it may be worse uh with a lot of colder air coming in you can expect snow uh with uh or maybe even ice storms out here if there's enough moisture associated with that cold air that's snowfall all the way down here to the southern states we'll see if that plays out as uh, far as uh precipitation that's uh for the total run the west coast here and, and the um Pacific Northwest getting some moisture from tonight's storm, and then there's one more after that before things dry up. But um, a little bit of rain out here, obviously. Got a lot of rain coming in from the uh, severe weather that's ramping up. Uh, as of right now, we got two current tornado warnings, one in Alabama, Montgomery, uh, and another one in Alabama, Montgomery, with a radar indicated and then one tornado which is observed here that's obviously a hook echo that's going to be the tornado right about here and uh, man that is a well-defined feature on that uh, model there here is uh the velocity now 
kind of hard to tell in this image, but that would make the tornado right about here, right around that region. Um, looks like it may be headed south of Pike Road, but uh, with this storm moving off to the northeast like that, that could pretty much clip that area. So it just stay safe out there, folks. There's nothing worse than nighttime tornadoes out there. Goodness, that's some scary stuff. So have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. All is uh, somewhat quiet for now. The question is, are we going to see you know any major quake to end the year? Kind of started one off with a with that big seven pointer. I think it was a seven point. Uh, what was that? Seven point. Oh man, now I got to look real quick here. <laughs> I got to look. Hold on a second. Let me bring this up. Seven point oh, and then we're going to go back. Um, we can just go back last year. I want to look here real quick and see what we got. We'll cover the year in review. Um, maybe tomorrow, see how many earthquakes struck this year compared to last year. But yeah, that was a 7. Point, uh, yeah, that 7.5 here. Technically, that was on the first. Um, this is just California time here, so you know they had already hit the first of january 2024 so that was the earthquake that started off uh, 2024 7.5 out there so we'll see if we end the year with that but this is the uh this is the number of uh if you take away this one he well no well, that's right 2024 all these are t from 2024 here so we've had uh 10 seven pointers that's actually yeah, a little on the weak side uh, compared to average we should be up around 15 or so um and of course an eight pointer is still missing where's our eight pointer at where is it going to be who knows but uh, we'll cover this and more folks tomorrow on the sunday morning update uh, you guys have a good safe knife night out there and of course if you're out there in the severe weather goodness uh, make sure you guys I don't know. I don't even think I could sleep with all that going on out there, knowing that there's uh, severe weather over my head. But uh, just stay safe, folks, and we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Have a good one.